So let us see how to find the derivative of a function like this when we have one function on top and another function at the bottoms. And the third start, we can use the formula by using quotient rules. So whenever we can see something like this, where we have f prime or g prime, this basically just tells us that we are taking the derivative of these functions. So f prime of x means that the derivative of f, g prime of x means that the derivative of g. But it still looks very complicated. So let me break it down for you. So for me, usually I'm going to find the derivative at the side first. So it means that whenever I receive this kind of functions and they ask us to find the derivative of it, I'm going to write the side of it first, the derivative. And after that, I know that in order to find the derivative, it's always going to be a fraction. So I draw a line. And after that, we know that we always, always, always start from the bottom. We bottom up. Just like us, we learn since we are in kindergarten, slowly we climb up to become adult. So g of x times f prime of x is the first step. So we're going to put it down first. We're going to times the first group of couple and minus the second couple, the one that on top going down. So this one is going to be the second couple. And after everything settled on the numerator side, we're going to do something with the denominators. So the gx, which is the bottom, is going to go down. But this one person cannot support everybody on top so heavy, right? So we're going to give it a little bit ohms of the power. So it's power of 2. So let us see how it works in the real life examples. So let us see how we apply all of the formula that we have learned into the questions. So first, I'm going to differentiate both of the equation on the side first. So if we differentiate 2x plus 5, we know it is going to be 2. Meanwhile, if 6x squared minus 3, if we differentiate it, 6 times 2 is 12, x power of 1. And the constant, we know, is just nothing. So let us write down it on the side first. And we're going to do the fractions and start with our bottom up. So bottom up means that we're going to multiply both of the terms. Then after that, we're going to put inside a bracket. Since this is a quotient rule, it's going to be minus. So minus the second couple, which is 2x plus 5 times 12x. So we bring it down. So after bringing it down, put inside the bracket. Then the one last thing that we're going to bring it down is 6x squared minus 3. But since so many people on top, this person is not going to support it. So we're going to give it a little bit ohms by using power of 2. So once we have everything ready, the next thing is just going to expand the bracket. 6x squared times 2, we know we're going to have 12x squared. Negative 3 times 2, we know it's going to be negative 6. Meanwhile, 2x times 12x, we have 24x squared. 5 times 12x is going to be 60x. And put inside in a bracket, and it will look like this. Then, don't forget this minus is going to apply for both of the terms inside the bracket. So this is why we have minus 24x squared, minus 60x. But there's one more thing. Can you see that there are like terms? So 12x squared minus 24x squared, we left with negative 12x squared. So this is what our result that we will get. Hey, if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video, do leave your comments below and let me know. If you want to support us so that we could make more videos like this, the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends. Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.